Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Pierre. I'm a research scientist at Surion uh, at Meta Reality Labs. So today I'm going to present uh, ARIA Research Kit. So I'm going to say what is it. It's our effort to release a software ecosystem to capture and process uh, ARIA data. So ARIA Research Kit is aligned with uh, two different offerings. So one for researchers and uh, one uh, with approved partners. So let's go first over uh, our open source offering. And uh, we are naming it ARIA Data Tools. ARIA Data Tool is an open source toolkit in C++ and Python released on GitHub. This tooling allows you to do three main capabilities. The first one is allow you to play the ARIA pilot data set that you just saw. After, it's also an interface to retrieve sensor information from ARIA. And finally, it's a generic data provider. See this toolkit as a demonstrator. It allows you to show how you can leverage ARIA pilot data set and connect it with your research. With the simplicity of running this uh, code inside a container, you can safely uh, develop and interact with project ARIA in isolation. As you know, an image is worth thousands of words, uh, so it's better to see a video than just a screenshot. And uh, it's the same for Project ARIA and uh, Project ARIA Data Pilot. So here's this visualization tool that you see. It's what is included inside ARIA Data Tool. And you can see Project ARIA Data and all the data that is coming within. So uh, display metadata, um, like uh, eye gaze tracking, speech to text, uh, IMU accelerometers, temperature, etc., and audio. So here you can see uh, the richness of project area and all the multidata that is available to you. And then a uh, project area is coming with a rich sensor suite, so it's like 17 sensors, so it's a lot. So it's uh, convenient to have a single interface where you can say, I want to query data, I want to understand where this sensor is and how to use it. So to do so, we are using a concept that we are calling device model. And using this, you can retrieve intrinsic and extrinsic data for every sensor. For camera intrinsic, so understand how the projection of the world is done, uh, we are using what we call the um, projection and unprojection function. So the projection functions allow you to project 3D points to 2D image points. And unproject allow you to project 2D points to 3D rays. And using this, you can do multiple view geometry easily. For your information, Project ARIA is using two different kinds of distortion camera model, depending on the lens distortion we have, depending on the application. So we have two kinds of distortion, one for the eye camera tracking facing to our new eyes, and the other one is for world sensing. Uh, it is larger field of view. And then uh, for poses of the sensor, so you want to query the 17 sensor poses uh, in the same reference format. So to do so, to, to do so, you can do a query in local or global coordinates and choose the reference frame that is the best for your use case. And finally, you have a lot of sensors like RGB cameras, SLAM cameras. So often you want to transform information in 3D from one sensor to another. And we have one transform function that allows you to do that directly for you. And then, so you have data. Now you need to interact with it and get uh, this data as a stream. Uh, so to do so, we have a data provider. So first, you're going to define which streams you want. So for this example, you can say, I want the SLAM cameras, the RGB SLAM cameras. So I'm going to define those streams. After, I'm going to create this data provider, send the stream IDs to this data provider. And then I'm going to just loop through the data records. And I'm going to get all the data sequentially as data records and be able to act on it. So run my favorite machine learning models to extract ends, to uh, detect faces, to detect people, everything I can think of. So in addition to this C++ data provider, uh, we also provide a Python interface. Uh, so you can very uh, be empowered with the language of your choice. So in this ARIA research kit, there is also a second offering uh, for academic partners. So now let's go over that. So in the case of you want to capture your own data, uh, it's better to have your own ARIA glasses. Uh, so to do so, you can um, subscribe and uh, send your request to uh, Project ARIA uh, by sending your request to fb.com Project ARIA. And you're going to find more information about Project ARIA, the pilot data set, and the partnership offering uh, that we do with academics. Once your request is approved, uh, you can also have access to a companion app uh, for mobile and desktop. So let's go over those two apps and understand what you can do with those apps. 
So mobile apps, desktop apps. Uh, you see there is more buttons on the desktop, so let's go over them and understand what you can do. So first, both applications allow you to connect in a wireless mode to those glasses, uh, triggered capture of sequences, and um, also uh, set up recording profiles uh, to enable you to capture exactly the data you want for your application. So what do we mean by having the data you want for your application? So we do so by um, choosing a recording profile. And here you can see some differences that we highlight in terms of frame rate, resolutions, or even the availability to discard one sensor, to say I don't want audio at all, so it's like one less concern for PII for some application. And then the desktop app is having more functionality for you than the companion app on mobiles. So this app allows you to do a wire transfer, so you connect your USB, transfer your data to your computer, and after do your magic. Or even have a live data preview to just visualize, okay, here is a project area, try to demo it to a friend, etc. And also you have access to documentation and guide to be sure you can set, be set up as soon as possible. The last piece that is available on the desktop app is uh, machine perception services. These uh, machine perception services is allowing you to have access to a trajectory uh, of uh, area sequences. So meaning you want things in context, you're gonna need to know where the person was, how the person is moving, so you can do um, access to the trajectory uh, by running a process uh, that we call machine perception services, or else you have the data locally on your computer, you have tools that are open source to access to this data, so you can do it yourself and just give the data to an open source framework like ORB Slam if you want, or your own Slam algorithm, and compare to what we have. And then what is important with an academic partner is to ensure a responsible innovation. So data belongs to partners, so data is captured by you, it's owned by you. Uh, we don't want, as researchers here in Meta, to have a um, access to it, so it's like your data, you do whatever you want with it. But there is some community guidelines to follow. Um, so first we want to be sure that partners uh, adhere to community guidelines, ensure that there is necessary steps to be taken with local laws, that you respect the right of others, and that there is also institutional review board uh, to manage data responsibly uh, in your antenna, uh, in your um, labs. And then, but, but not least, uh, we are opening code and data to everyone to demonstrate our research transparently and to open collaboration. We want to enable AR glasses uh, to be exist and at scale. We hope that the tool and data set can enable anyone uh, to work on, on egocentric multimodal data and accelerate this effort across the industry. So the take-home message for ARIA Research Kit is there is two offering, one for researcher with open source tool, and the other one is partner resource. So you are academic, you want to have your own device, capture your own data, contact us at uh, projectariafb.com. Uh, in your system, do you provide depth information? Mm, that's a very good question. So the ARIA glasses do not have an active depth sensor. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can imagine, to make uh, glasses uh, wearable, uh, and also with the thermal and power constraints on these classes, we do not put an active depth sensor on these classes. We do not expose any libraries to do uh, stereo uh, depth uh, with the cameras uh, that are there, though it is possible. So you get access to the raw data such so that if you want to run your own stereo mm -hmm. depth algorithms or AI-based uh, depth algorithms, you could uh, do that. But currently, we do not expose any okay. uh, depth-based